fight to occupy we've been talking about possessing the promises of god and occupying the promises of god to the full and as we do this uh, there there is a, a dimension to this uh, where god requires something of us deuteronomy 121 behold the lord your god has set the land before you go up and take possession of it just as the lord the god of your fathers has spoken to you do not fear or be dismayed so uh, here moses is is talking about the promised land uh, and we know that the promised land is a land flowing with milk and honey and shouldn't that have been enough for moses to introduce the promised land you know a land flowing with milk and honey but no moses is also talking about not fearing not being dismayed why is he adding this uh, instruction along with with the instruction the, the rest of the instruction to possess the land because he knew that there will be enemies in the land there will be people whom uh, israel would need to fight to uh, evict those enemies and then go ahead and possess the land and so uh, there is every opportunity to fear and if the battle ends up being really long uh, you know people could be dismayed and discouraged and say uh, probably this is not what god wanted for us and and which is why moses right at the beginning he tells them not to fear and, and not be dismayed so before taking the promised land you you read about uh, all all the things that joshua and the people did uh, before possessing the land flowing with milk and honey comes the flooding jordan you know which they had to cross did they expect it if they uh, you know were wise enough i'm sure they would have expected certain challenges before possessing the land the wall of jericho which they had to destroy now this again is a hurdle between them and the promised land and there were battles to fight with enemy kings and they had to fully engage in all of this so possessing the promised land involves putting up a fight and the same holds true even in our spiritual life god has given his great and wonderful promises and yet you know we need a poise a, po- a posture of fighting against the enemy where we say uh, devil you will not have the promises of god uh, which have been directed towards me and you know we we've, we've got to overcome every challenge and defeat the enemy why is this important this is important firstly because god's heart is so we can enjoy everything that he has offered to us through the cross uh, but at the same time god does not want us to pass on our battles to the coming generations it's very unfortunate that uh, the battles which are not won by one generation end up being passed on to the next so the next generation ends up having the battles of their uh, forefathers and their own battles as well and 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 we wouldn't want to do that we want to occupy the blessings of god and what we want to leave behind is a legacy and an inheritance and uh, the wonderful testimonies of of how god healed us and how god brought us through our uh, jordan river and how god uh, brought down those jericho walls uh, and so these are the stories which we want to pass on uh, to the next generation uh, so that we are walking in our faith and we uh, encourage them to build up their faith as well let's pray together heavenly father we praise you o oh god for the truth of your word and god we we thank you that uh, you want each one of us to possess your promises o oh god and, and god even at this time uh, lord i pray that uh, each of us will put up a, a, a good fight of faith o oh god i pray that lord we will depend on your word lord father i pray that we will be filled with your holy spirit o oh god father even right now o oh god i pray for a release of the gifts of the spirit o oh god father that even 
as people are hearing uh, this word that uh, lord there will be miracles father god and healings and and supernatural faith rising up oh god thank you god thank you that you've called us to move mountains thank you that you've ca- called us oh god to possess territories and father for that we honor you we thank you in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org